stuff here, Jones Podiatry. This young patient had a Charcot reconstruction. He had a uh, an external fixator on, and this was this little bubble popped up a week ago. The patient did see some drainage. So, Doctor Kushner. Is inspecting. I think he just had some serosanguineous drainage from his little wound here. This looks like a, almost like a body granuloma yep. formation so people can't really see what you're seeing let me get from here it's 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 raised it's actually raised there's definitely something underneath there the question is and just to give everyone an idea this is the foot And again, just a, a quick recap, this patient had an external fixator applied for a reconstruction of his ankle secondary to Charcot as a result of the diabetes. And he's been doing absolutely fantastic. He's walking already. Um, his, his ankle and his entire foot was completely, how would you describe it? It was, his was hanging, it was not attached, the no foot bone. Was, the foot was hanging, it, it was, was not no attached. Bone. It was attached, but it wasn't. <laughs> no, no, it was just hanging in there. It was sort of like a bag of bones. Mm -hmm. And then they went ahead and, uh, and we, we went ahead and reconstructed the entire ankle and foot. So what's inside is the question. There it is. Let's see. What do you got there? I don't know, but I kind of think this is what was causing. Maybe something. There was something that seems like it was causing this foreign body. It looks like a foreign body granuloma? Yeah. Was... So essentially, what we're doing here is we're just, Dr. Kushner is de roofing it just to see if there's anything in there that might be causing this problem.
preocupe. Peor sería si... Si hay algo de abajo y no se sabe lo que es. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I'd like to... Do we have a, a culture in here? Yeah. What we're going to go ahead and do is culture the defect, send it out for analysis, make sure there's no bacteria, which is definitely the standard of care. I just want to let everyone know this was not here a week ago. Am I correct? Yeah. That's good. It's not probing anywhere. Cheesy abscess. That's the good news, right? Yeah. No. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna we're gonna apply dressing. Wrap it, some local wound care. Okay. Okay. www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojan, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Uh, okay, everyone. So, a Dr. Kushner and myself, we were talking about this case, and until proven otherwise, uh, the patient, just like he, he stated to us, he developed this little lump several days ago, about a week or 10 days ago, and it drained. Um, he didn't see any yellow pus draining from it, but it started to drain. Uh, he couldn't really define exactly what that meant, but nonetheless... A, until proven otherwise, we're, we're, we're dealing with a, with a granuloma of some sort. And I'm, I'm putting, I'm telling everyone because I know this is a question that a lot of people are going to have. So we're, we went ahead and cultured it. I will keep everyone afloat to make sure that there's no infection there. And then we're just going to uh, perform aggressive local wound care and make sure that heals. So... For anyone that's, for, for all of our viewers, what is it, right? What is it? Possible form body granuloma. He did have, in the original surgery, he did have a sutures placed there. And sometimes these sutures, um, the body can react a certain way to them by creating these little... Uh, call it an abscess or a seroma or like a blister underneath the skin. So it could have been easily that until proven otherwise. So I will keep everyone afloat on, on his progress. Okay. Like always, thank you for watching.